In this video, I'm going to show you where all the Apple spawns are so you can find them for the free Fortnite Cup. So let's go ahead and bring them in here. If you don't know what I'm talking about or referring to, make sure you check out this video. Basically, you're going to want to eat some apples. With that said, let's go ahead and drop it and show you where they are. Keep in mind for this tournament, it's going to be difficult because when you eat apples, you gain HP, which means you need to go ahead and get damaged before you can go ahead and eat the apples. So here is a quick spot. This is a smaller spot, but the reason this one's good is because it is near steamy stacks and it's also near the orchard. Orchard's gonna be your most heavily appled spot. So when you come here, you can go ahead and gather them Gathering them picks them up so much faster than consuming them. So if you have <laughs> So if you have an extra slot, I definitely recommend Gathering them and then you can eat them later now if there's no one around here You don't want to leave you want to knock the trees down too because there is a chance that apples can fall from the trees It's not gonna happen all the time, but it will happen from time to time plus it's good to have the materials that way if someone does come after you, you can go ahead and build real quick. So here we are at the orchard and I'll show you on the map real quick. We came from this tree and we are now here. So you can go ahead and pick these up as well. And like I said, I tried knocking some trees down so far we haven't had luck. We'll do it until we get an apple to fall here. There we go. We got two to fall there. All right. So you definitely want to pick those up. So these areas are going to be highly contested. Um, so with that said, you are going to get shot, which is good and bad. Because if you can get shot and then if you have no shields and you can just pop the apples, that'll help you speed up and get quicker. And also keep in mind the air apples. They do get stuck in the tree sometimes and up in the air. So next door is another spot with more apples. And remember, it's eating. So it's kind of like you want to find a good area. This is four. 22 damage for four high. So that gives you five apples that are edible. I wouldn't go too low because if you do someone's gonna come after you so there you go we got some more here so this is gonna probably be the highly contested spot so I don't know if I would go here but maybe rotate here like I said drop there first let's go and go to the next spot don't forget as you're going to the other spot you see these food crates there can be apples inside these so you do want to check them from time to time your next spot's gonna be right here. It's to the south of the orchard. So you can go ahead and rotate here if storm helps you. And you can see the apples are kind of in the middle of open here. So you just wanna go ahead and grab them with J or consume them if you need to. Don't forget to hit the trees again. I think it's mainly the skinny trees that drop them. So you might want to experiment to verify that. And then once you get damaged, you can go ahead and eat them. This is everything that's around here. So here we're going to have a very popular drop because there's three different apple spawn locations in this area. Not to mention you have two houses and a lighthouse to get equipment very fast. And you have a vehicle so you can get out of here if you need for the storm. So with that shown, let me show you where it is. So here it is. We got three drops. We got one here, I believe one here, and one here. So here's one. Again, J is going to pick them up so much faster for you. And you can break the trees. Possibly get more. Sometimes you can see them in the tree before they drop. That is the case. Let's try one more. We have fireflies here too. Of course, those don't count, but as an extra weapon if you need. So let's go over to this spot over here.
here we have it here so it's right by the houses there and you have the apples here and if i do this i need to change my pickup because i have it j and j makes it very hard to pick it up so i would make it something simple for you so you could do it really quickly and then finally the third spot is over here and you can see the apples here again on the map is here i'm going to go ahead and show you two more spots they're not going to be as populated as the first as the orc Well, that's unfortunate. Here's another spot. This is a small spot. It's only one zone, but it did have a good amount of apples on the ground. So this is coming from Holly. It's right next to this water. Not the big one, but the smaller one. And you can see it's right here. So you can go ahead and just pick them up there. The final spot is right up here overlooking the agency. So I'll show you on the map quick. There you go, and there you go. These are your final apples, and I wish you all good luck, and happy apple consuming. Like I said, I would drop in a few times before the game, and maybe in Rumble or something, and just practice grabbing them as quick as you can. Uh, practice, you know, building up and grabbing them and eating them, and you know, let someone hit you once or twice before you put shields on pop those apples, save the shields for after you're done eating them, and then, you know, move on. And those are going to be your quickest spots. Go ahead and try some routes. Let me know if you have any tips that I missed in the video down below in the comments. And I'll see you in there if you're in the East. Maybe I'll be eating some apples against you. <laughs> I'll see you there. Here's another video that gives you a little more information about all the details. In case you missed it, check it out. And I also have one for the time zones.